Well, we, we all know today's uh, Super Bowl Sunday. But to me, today is our Super Bowl for our seniors. What an incredible journey it's been. I say this uh, every single year when you walk out of the tunnel, don't be sad that it's over because it is far from over. Be happy that it's happened. And when you walk out of uh, the tunnel today, take that moment to soak it in because it's a heck of a moment that each and every one of you have brought great joy to, to so many people. Let's get a big round of applause for the Terrapin class of 2023. And so I'll say, you know, E, I only got one, one year to, to be able to coach you, but I think we've made the most of it. And I, I'm going to miss that point guard flair, that great assist. I mean, the, the thing that separates you is you are more about others and that big assist than you are even about your own scoring. And it's a selfless act, and is, which is why you win all the time. And Abby, I think the biggest thing uh, I'm going to miss with you is the, just the pure joy you have every single day, um, whether it's in basketball or off the court, you're so curious, um, which I love about you. I embrace that every single time. Diamond, man, what a, what, what a growth it's been to see you from your freshman year to now as a, a senior. And what I love about you is your loyalty. The fact that um, you believed in Maryland, you believed in us every step of the way, sometimes when, when it may not have looked like it was an easy, an easy path at all, and it hasn't been. Um, and Faith, again, another journey that, that hasn't been easy. What continues to always separate you is you put your head down, you go to work, you've persevered, you're resilient. You know, I love the fact that, uh, you know, all the things that you do that don't show up on a stat sheet, but allow you to win. And that's why ever since you've come in this program, all you've done is win. Maryland, 82-71 winners over Illinois. And those qualities are gonna continue to take you so far in life because you're always about others. The thing I loved about Faith when I saw her in high school and AAU, she just was, it kind of had that Jersey toughness. She was always all over the place, just making plays similar to what she's doing now, but she was rugged, she was fierce, super competitive. In her senior season, Faith showed that she'll do whatever's best for the team something that she's been doing during her entire four-year stellar career. And she was kind of that uh, player that whatever her team needed, uh, she was able to do, and she's obviously been able to bring that to Maryland. Uh, Faith, is, Faith is my real dog. We've been here since freshman year. I think it's awesome how me and Diamond came in together, two Jersey girls. It's just a lot. It means a lot. Me and Diamond played together, or not played together, played against each other I in high just school. I to mention that too. Maryland definitely connected us. Uh, we known each other for a very long time. <laughs> a pretty cool story with Faith and Diamond coming in together. They were actually like fierce competitors. They didn't like each other much because they were always having to beat each other out in order to advance in, the, in their playoffs. She's just hardworking. She doesn't stop. She's always in your face and she's kind of annoying when you play against her, but um, being with her is just going to be fun. Like I'm excited for her to be my teammate, knowing that I'm going to be able to battle with her and not playing against her. It's going to be fun. But I never got to really get to know her until I came here, so it just comes full circle. It's, it means a lot to be able to come here to Maryland and just, you know, have fun. <laughs> Faith is definitely, people are going to say that Nay and Faith are probably the moms on the team. Mom of Faith. Definitely the team mom here. She's the most loving, caring mom I ever met in my life. She's, she's definitely the mother of the team. She's always like making sure I'm okay and stuff like that. Are you okay? She's nurturing. She will tell you right from wrong. You got to talk to me because like if I say saying you just sit, I don't know what you're doing. She just always tries to instill her Maryland wisdom in us. She'll tell you what to do, what not to do. She gets you in the places that you need to be. You're going to pass corner and go, no, no, you keep it. You start with it. Diamond, you're on the wing over there. She's definitely mama face. Shot, rebound. Good hit, Nay. Good job, guys. Way to make free throws. I don't know what percent that is, but it's high. You couldn't just let me shoot that. <laughs> Come on. Choke. Nope. Good hit. Swoosh. The hardest. Swoosh. 
see. You gotta check out Abby's new tattoos. And that's a wrap. These last few games are extremely important. This is the most competitive the league's been since we've entered. Maryland sitting in those top four spots for a double by the Big Ten tournament. And you see Maryland right in between Iowa and Ohio State. They will play both of those teams still on the schedule. Every win, every loss has implications. So just understanding the value of each and every game and really making the most of it. You're starting to see Maryland peak, and you want to peak right about now into March. That's the perfect timing regarding tournament runs. The Maryland Terrapins dominate Iowa. This team has won eight straight games at home, and just putting a really complete resume, uh, peaking at the right time going into the tournament. End the way you should end the regular season with a big fat victory. You get the cold plug for all the coaches. All in. Alexander stepped right into that three and has gone for second. To finish conference play with the toughest slate in the toughest league at 15 and 3. So proud of this group and you know seven wins over ranked teams, four over top ten, winning the last six, uh, you know, eleven out of twelve heading into postseason. This is where you want to be peaking. Oh, that was insane. That was insane. Oh my god.